creating a WPS from a single PQR or multiple PQRs with WeldNote. Click on the WPS menu option on the left and click on WPS sub-option afterwards. Click on the Create WPS from Single PQR option. Click on the magnifying glass on the Source PQR field to search the PQR you will use as the base for this WPS. Fill in the WPS number and Weld type and you may select the PQR processes to be used in the WPS. Afterwards, click on the Create WPS button. The parameters from the PQR have automatically been copied, but if you want, you can modify its parameters to better suit your project's requirements. There are seven tabs for the information contained in the WPS. Details, Base Materials, Consumables, Passes, Other, Status and Revisions. On the Details tab, you have the parameters for weld type, welding processes, welding positions, type of current and transfer modes, as well as the thermal parameters for preheating or post-weld heat treatment. On the Base Materials tab, you may modify thicknesses and materials to be used. If you're using a material that is not qualified by the PQR, such as using a different P number, WeldNote will warn you if you're in the wrong. To select a different material, click on the magnifying glass next to the material selected, type in the grade of material and select it. Do the same for the second base material. You may also select a different weld sketch for both the groove design and weld layer configuration. WeldNote features the most common options for these sketches, but you may upload your own as well. In the description of this video, there will be a link to the sketch uploading instructions. If you want to change the parameters of the welding passes, click on Passes. If you want to add a new pass, click on the Add Parameter button. Fill in all the fields. After selecting the layer, all the information about the filler metal and the filler metal diameters you input before are filled in automatically. If you haven't filled them in, go back to the Consumables tab to input them. Notice how, if you change the maximum amperage too much, the heat input will go above the PQR requirements. WellNote warns you with a red text. The Status tab is for you to define who wrote, verified and approved the WPS. Choose the person who did each of these tasks and the dates in which they did it. If you want to add a new revision, click on the Revisions tab. Put in the revision number and the revision notes and you will be able to change parameters on the new revision. In the end, click Save and you will be able to export this WPS to a printable format. To do this, click on the Excel button. WeldNote will put all the information with your uploaded company logo instead of the WeldNote one. As for creating WPSs from multiple PQRs, click on the button Create Advanced WPS. Select the standard and the weld type. Type in the WPS number and select the PQRs to be used for this WPS. Afterwards, if the PQR has more than one process, select the process you want to include in each layer and click on Create WPS. The remaining process is the same as the WPS from a single PQR, so all you need to do is go to the beginning of the video to see how to do it. And that's it for creating a WPS in WellNote. My name is Thiago Pereira. Thanks for watching.